Okay guys, so welcome back to another video. And again, it's another gold refine part uh, that we're on to. So this is the, if you've looked back, you'll see where I done the RAM chips. And this is the um, fingers and this is the gold recovered from them. So I'm going to do a couple of different videos on that, um, but I'm going to split into different ways. So this one here I'm going to do, let me see what we'll put in here. Let me see. We're at nine, eight, eight gram, oh, let me change that to grams. Grams mode, mode, grams or tin, nine grams. All right, what are we in there? We have 17 grams, we'll try and get a small bit more. So these are fairly clean. Um, it's not a bit of stuff that's got in there that shouldn't be, but they're fairly, fairly cleaned fingers. So for this video, I have 22 grams of um, of foils. Okay, so what I'm going to do on this one is I'm going to be using the hydrochloric and nitric to make acroegia. I will do another one in a later stage using um, hydrochloric acid and bleach, so you can see how you can do doing that and I will also do one as well um that's gone to 20 something grams now or 40 something grams 40 grams okay strange um maybe it was 40 grams was in there now I'm gonna have to re I don't really care um to be honest I think it is 40 grams um that's in that I'll, what I'll do is I'll get an empty jar and I'll weigh it and we'll see, then I'll know if it's 40 grams or not. Um, so I'll do that later, I don't need to do now, but I'll check it out and see, was that 40 grams or was it just a 40 scales? So it's saying the jar is about 280 grams. So we'll know when I wear, wear a jar, and if it comes up with 280 grams, then we had the 40. Um, so the um, process here will be, I'll be putting in the um, hydrochloric acid and then I will be adding little bits of um, nitric acid using some of these pipettes and um, so again I'll be these are three mil at a time so I'll be adding three mil at a time and till we see a reaction starting and then I leave it and then I add more again at a later stage so we'll go to the shed get the mask on I have the gloves on and we'll get the mask on and uh, we'll get ready to go Okay guys, so I'm in the shed and I have my hydrochloric acid and I have my nitric acid and something else cooked in there um, for another video, so I don't know if that video will be out before this video is out or which video, but I have a few videos on going there at the moment that I'm working on. So uh, what I have here is um, 220 millilitres of um, hydrochloric acid, which I'll be adding in here now. Okay, and this is my nitric, so as I said, we'll be putting in 3 millilitres at a time, just to get the reaction going, so very slowly, okay, no reaction yet. Leave it a few minutes and just see. So I'll just pause that, I'll leave it a few minutes and see where any reaction start and then if not I'll add a bit more. Okay guys, so I've left it a while and it hasn't really started to react. I'm going to start pouring in a little bit quicker and let's see can we get a little reaction going. There we go, I think we have a little bit of a reaction starting. Have a look in there. Oh, I've seen a reaction starting, but we've got a bit more. It's usually a 
3 to 1 ratio. So that's what I have in there. I have 1 compared to 3. So eventually all this will be in there, but I don't want to boil over. So that's why I'm adding it slowly. Um, so we'll leave that for a while now, and then we can, we'll come back and add the rest in a few minutes. Okay, so we are getting a reaction now. Um, it's starting to bubble. So I'm going to leave that. I'm going to let work away. And I will come back and check it. I may need to put it into a separate, two separate ones if it gets too... If I need to add more nitric or more hydrochloric acid to it. Um, because I may not have had put enough um, for the weight I put in. But I should have enough uh, in there. So the jar should be sufficient. If not, I'll just add... I'll just start a second jar, split it in two and just do two jars together. Um, so guys, um, I'll check back in a few days and we'll see how this is progressing. Okay guys, so it's been a few hours and uh, as you can see, the solution has very well reacted. Uh, the gold that was floating on top is down in among there now. So hopefully it's been dissolved um, bit by bit, so I'll leave it a few days. Um, and um, I'll check in on it just to make sure and see how it came along um, just have a look at the pipette and see if we stir it up a bit so you can still see there's flakes in there but um, I want to try and get them flakes down at some stage from there but it uh, seems to be working away Just wash that down in a minute uh, and just leave it in this here for the moment and then I'll wash it and I'm sure there'll be bits of gold on there. Um, so I'll let that work away for a few days and we'll come back and um, hopefully we can do a bit of a filtration in a few days time and do a drop and see what we got. So check it out guys, see how we're getting on. Okay, it's been uh, about two days, maybe two and a half days since I put the um, gold foils into the hydrochloric and um, nitric acid to make uh, aqua regia. Um, so we're just going to have a look at it, see how, how well it's been dissolved, has got rid of all the gold flakes yet, or is there still some to be done. So I'm just going to stick on the mask, stick on the gloves and we'll have a quick look at it. So. <clears throat> Mask is going on. Okay. Safety first, guys. Always remember that when dealing with these acids. You don't want to poison yourself. Okay, so we have the gloves on. We'll just open it up. Try not to break it. Just have a quick stir of it. See if the flakes are all gone. So they seem to have all gone. It just seems to be a bit of yeah. We've got a nice yellow color. There's a few bits of. Um, stuff from the boards but most seems to be there might be still a little bit of gold flakes left in there so I might need to just add a small bit of uh, more nitrate to it and just leave it maybe another couple of hours a little bit of heat and we should be ready to filter off um, or I might just filter off and put what's left back into fresh hydrochloric and nitric just to do a fresh batch between um, all depends I don't think there's too much in there actually so I might just filter them off and see because that seems to be pretty pretty good so let me just get my spray to spray that down So 
don't want to be losing any of the gold. So that, I think that's ready to be filtered, guys. And then after I filter it, we know what comes next. Uh, it'll be the denox and the um, drop, which I will do on a separate video. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to uh, pause that there. I'm just going to get another jar, get a filter set up, and we're going to filter it out. And we'll see what we end up with. Okay guys, so um, I'm ready to start filtering. So I've set up my filter, which is here, and a little jar under it. So we're just going to pour off this uh, hydrochloric acid and nitric, which is aquaregia, in there. I just want to set the filters, because the filters are not the best filter paper. I usually have different ones when I'm out of them, so I have to make do. And this does usually annoy me a bit first. But we'll start filtering down. Nice and easy. Okay, I'll let that filter for a minute. So guys, I'm going to just pour that off. Let it filter all the way through this thing. You don't need to be watching an hour or two of filtering. And we'll come back once we've all filtered through there. And um, we'll see what was left in the filter. Do I need to have, uh, redo some stuff or not? And then we can do... That'll be it for this video once I do that. And then we'll be going on to another video in another time when we'll be doing the denoxing and the um, dropping and again re-purifying uh, it even more and denoxing again and things so it'll be a video on that so check back in a few and we'll see how we got on okay so we have <coughs> left that uh, filter through and this is what we have got now so it's a nice goldy colour um, in it um so uh, that's kind of uh, what i wanted to get to was to that stage of it um we have left in with a filter which looks something like this uh, it doesn't seem to be any gold left in but i will keep this filter and it, at some stage i'll incinerate it and put into another uh, batch of aquaregia that i'm working on at some stage so when i'm doing filters or whatever i'll just hold on to it because there may still be trace gold in there but um it, uh, I think I've got most of it so um, that seems to be kind of it for the video um, so guys thanks for watching it um, I appreciate it and um, until the next one um, keep on looking for that gold guys Ah, so you thought it was the end of the video <laughs> so did I uh, until I realized um, I hadn't done my test so guys what I've got in here is some of my stainless chloride and what I've got in here is my uh, little Q-tip. So all I'm going to do is dip the Q-tip in the liquid. So we get a little bit of it on here. And we're going to get the um, stannis. So we've got our little Q-tip. And we're just going to put a little drop of the stannis. You can see straight away the colour change. So that's telling me that there is gold in the solution. Which was very dark. It went very dark very quick. So you can see there how it went very dark all around the Q-tip. So that's exactly what I was looking for. Um, so that tells me that I've got gold in the solution. So again, you can cut this Q-tip off if I want it and um, reprocess that if you don't want to lose any bit of the gold at all. Again, it was just a little drop I took there. So if you want to hold on to your Q-tips, you can. And um, check them for your gold. So that was a very positive test for gold or precious metal in the... Um, in the liquid so that is very important so that's just something where the stannis comes into um, it so if you haven't seen that video guys on how I made my stannis for testing um, please check it out because it is one of the essentials that you need for your gold recovery uh, without that you wouldn't know whether you have something you'd be wasting your time testing a liquid or uh, processing it and I'm wondering why you're getting no return from it or getting no gold from it or getting no precious metal from it. There may have been known in there in the first place. So that's where the um, stannis comes in. So this time, guys, this is the end of the video. So now that we know that this contains precious metals, um, we can um, deal with that. So the next video on this section of the 
gold recovery uh, from the ram um, fingers or foils um, will be um, I, well the, the next stage what I'll do with this part will be I will we'll neutralize it um, I'll drop the lead from it if there's any lead traces in there I'll drop that from it and then we will do a proper drop where we'll get our um, actual gold uh, powder hopefully dry it out we'll reprocess it again um, using the um, Acroegia again and then we'll drop it again and if need be I'll pre-process it again to try and get the purity as good as I can so um, I try and get it as close as I can to the 999 uh, fine gold um, and um, so to increase the value of it so it does involve a few processes which you will see in the videos upcoming and um, I'll also be doing a video on the gold foils for people who don't have nitric but still want to be able to dissolve them so we'll be dissolving them using bleach and hydrochloric acid so it's just another way of doing it and again we can compare <coughs> um which it gives us the best um yield or quality of gold how many times stuff like that we can have a look at it and see is there much of a difference between using the nitric the time frame for this was a couple of days um so it didn't take that long to dissolve it using the um the nitric where we'll see will it take longer to do it with the bleach so anyhow guys i don't want to drag this video on any longer um the need be so um thanks for watching guys and um to the next video keep on looking for that gold guys